Hey, what's up, young people? It's your guy, Peter Lewis, unit director of the Asylum Hill Boys and Girls Club. I'm super happy. I'm super excited. And I'm definitely feeling blessed to be able to reconnect with all of you young people once again. To all the teens out there, I just want to be clear before I get the ball rolling that um, as a unit director of a Boys and Girls Club, I'm able to see some of the things and hear from some of you guys about what you're going through uh, as it pertains to COVID. And I just want to let you know that you're not alone. You know, um, us adults are going through it just just the same. It's obviously, you know, in a different light. It's in a different way. Um, but but we see that um, and we see you guys still staying strong and pushing through. And um, I just want to commend you. I want to show you some love right now. I'm showing you some some air love. Um, I'm, I'm sharing some virtual love and some respect and some care and some positive energy to all young people out there that's still pushing, trying to do the right thing, wearing a face mask staying six feet um, distant from other individuals. And also you got the holidays coming, Thanksgiving. It's all about what? Family, everybody being together, everybody being tightly knit, everybody being connected. And so when you think about that, you know you can't really do it anymore, right? Everyone, you know, that is a doctor, you know, the CDC, um, you know, anybody who is a medical um, correspondent will make it clear, like you must stay away from family members who don't necessarily live in your home. And so that can be hard because we love our family. We love our loved ones. Right. And so what I want to do today is provide all my young teens an opportunity to figure out how you can change your way of thinking. And we're going to do some things and we're going to talk about some things as it pertains to mindfulness. Right. Our mind is important and our mind sets us up to create whatever it is that comes out outwardly. So a lot of the times when we feel angry, it comes outward. Right. It might come out in the way that we talk. It might come out in the way that we move and it might even come out with the way that we physically look. Right. Sometimes we look angry and, and we don't even realize it. I know sometimes that happens to me. And so there's times where you got to fix yourself. You know, you got to get yourself together. But with COVID-19, it's real hard. And sometimes the things that we normally do that make us, you know, get get on a chill mode, you know, relax a little bit, take it back. Right. Um, we, we don't feel that stuff is working. So I want to provide you all with a couple of tips and tricks. Um, some things that I was able to find that could be helpful. And I'll be honest and share. For me, I typically go to the gym. I like to lift weights. It makes me feel good. You know, obviously it's good for your body, um, but it also makes me feel good. It allows me to let off some steam. Um, and, and, and after I'm done, you know, I'm, I'm tired. I'm like, like about to fall out and go to sleep. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel really, really good. And so I want to share a couple of things that you all can do. Very basic, very simple. And at the end of this video, I am also going to provide a great link so that you can see some of the things that I share. So hopefully you'll want to share with a friend who will share with a friend who will tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And then everybody's po positive and practicing positive like things that are going to help their mood, their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts and all the stuff that comes in between. So here we go. The first thing that I got on the list is drum roll, please. Mindfulness meditation. You got to meditate, right? I mean, you don't have to meditate, but if you meditate, it could help calm you down, relax you, get you to that place of Zen, you know, oh, right? And, 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 you know, I don't really do that. I'm gonna be honest. I don't meditate, but meditation could work for you. It's always worth a try. Someone once told me you can't knock it until you try it. If it's positive, you can't knock it till you try it. Okay. Now let's move to the next one. Relax your muscles. Think about it. Every day when you get up in the morning, you start moving. Think about it. Every day when you're up moving around and doing things, you are exerting energy. Sometimes you might need to just sit down and <sighs> just relax. You know what I mean? Take take your glasses off. Don't even move. Just, uh, just yeah, I'm just comfortable now, man. And just sit there and think. Sometimes literally just sitting there and thinking and just letting whatever come through you just come through you, it, it can relax you, believe it or not. Now, I've tried that before. It worked one time. That was the only time I did it, but it worked one time. But the point is, it's still worth the try. You got to try something different if you want something different, right? Now, we're going to move to the last one. And this is the one that I really, really like. And I have an Apple um, watch. And so it lets me know 
what my breathing patterns are and it lets me know if it's time for me to take some deep breaths so that I can relax myself because I have um, a mild case of anxiety. And so I get, I get very anxious um, when there's a lot of things I have to work on. So let me get over to this item and here we go. Drum roll, please. Oh, the excitement, the excitement, the excitement and control your breathing. It's very important. It's very vital. I mean, breathing is what allows you to continue to be on this earth and be mobile and be moving and be active. And you know what I mean? That's my robot reenactment right there. It's like, I'm like trying to be a robot. I don't know if you guys, if this is, you guys get this, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is it's so important to control your breathing. It's so important. You know, if you have a more calmer breathing, you know, you're more relaxed. You feel more put together. You feel more calm. You feel you feel a sense of 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 peace or tranquility, right? And so it's so important to think, right, about what you're doing, how it makes you feel, and how you can create the positive behind it. So meditating is one. Relaxing your muscles is two. Controlling your breathing is three. Now, those are just three items that you could try. Now, I'm going to send you for free, for free, no cost, no cost, for free. I'm going to send you a attachment to this video so that you can see exactly what it is that can help you be more stress-free. I mean, it's like a list of quite a few things, but I decided to share with you all the top three that I really like. So with that being said, I hope that you feel different about um, the holidays and you feel different about, or at least optimistic about how you can change your Ultimately, I really hope that each of you enjoyed this time. I know I enjoy myself. I appreciate once again, you all connecting with me through this virtual uh, way of living nowadays uh, due to COVID-19. But I hope the ideas in addition are supportive and helpful for you in trying to make sure that you keep your sanity, keep your spirit, keep your all around well-being where it needs to be so that you can be in a positive place. You know, it's the holidays, like I said in the beginning, and um, I really want to make sure that I'm giving you something that's going to help you be able to keep that positive energy going. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you soon.